What is up everyone? This is Dragonlover4194 and welcome back to Spyro Reignited Trilogy. We are at the last world, Nasty's world, and we are going to complete this game today. Now we've got our boss stuff that's here. Get all the stuff on the dock so we don't trigger the blue mist. Well, I think I said in the last video that we had freed all the original dragons. And that's because all the dragons in this world are duplicates. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon that must defeat him. Bring him on! I'm ready! Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Whatever you say, Earl Sinclair. <laughs> Get him so far. Here we go, Nork Cove. So yeah, all the dragons in this world are dragons you've already freed. And you get to free them again. What's actually funny is a lot of the dragons in this world, in the original game, you know, for some dumb reason, they change the voices on most of them and I think they actually changed the model on one which why <laughs> and it's not like you can't have the same people do the same dragons again See, Crash isn't the only one with TNT. <laughs> I think these guys are funny because they wind up in their underwear. have a tenor in that one. Seems kind of a waste of a creep to just have one measly gem. Go ahead and free this dragon. Got the teeth again. Keep up the good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him. Like the teeth. Oh, get out of the water. Get out of the water. Yeah, see, he's just in his underwear. <laughs> Ow. That was a dumb move. <laughs> Okay, I think I saw some rats somewhere. Alright. 
Gotta go this way. Got a botched nineties reference here. Wow, I never thought I'd be rescued, especially by such a little dragon. Uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro. You gotta believe. <laughs> yeah, that's supposed to be a Parappa the Rapper reference. But, uh, Tom Kenny kind of botched it. Alright. I'm gonna go here. <laughs> nice domino effect. So, I know there's an order to these. So the key must be in a different form. can go back and open up that chest. Should be one ten gem up here. Nice. And up we go. All right. 
we are back and now we are going to go to Twilight Harbor aka Splatoon with Norks <laughs> yeah and for any other 90s kids out there you would know that um this level originally had guns but they changed it to be more quote unquote kid friendly and they got good guns now I mean I guess it's kind of justified that they changed the guns but I mean come on I could have changed it to something a little more, um, or rather a little less, um, a little less conspicuous than goop guns. These guys are annoying though. I don't know how annoying they are in the original game because I've never played the original Spyro on PlayStation. But uh, if they're anything like they are here, then I hate them. I just downright hate them. Ow! Oh yeah, we gotta do this crazy run. First, let's grab this dragon, Cosmos. Thank you for rescuing me. Now he could have been a bit more effective in shooting. We're launching his grenades in both directions instead of just focusing on one side. Seriously, why that goop gun? Ow. Okay, that was my bad. Ow! Okay, can we got free? Please. Be on the lookout for no commando, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me. I seriously think they changed the lighting of the patch, because I remember that scene being a bit brighter than it was. I shouldn't have jumped. <laughs> okay, I need a rat. Ha! 
gotcha. Okay. Now we can raise up the drawbridge and do another crazy supercharge. Not sure what happened when I got caught on the edge of the bridge, but whatever. <laughs> See, I didn't miss anything out here, did I? Nope, don't look like it. Remember on one of these ledges, there's like a hidden gem. Oh, no gem, but there's an extra one. Take it. Move here, get these gems. See if the rat respawned. Nope. Looks like you're staying green for a while, Sparks. got hit there. And I don't have sparks. Whew. At least we died close to where we were. Ow. Ow. I don't like this level. I don't. to see where their line of fire is. Ah. Uh. And we're back here again. Oh, no, no, no.
I'm not gonna be that easily this time. Back to the pure peril. Got you both. Yeah, that last little jump always gets me. This should be the last gems. Good. And let's get out of here. have left to do is Nasty Nork. Alright, we are back. We are, we have just finished Twilight Harbor. And now we're gonna go fight Nasty Nork. Alright, that's the last of our gems. We do have one more dragon to get, but it's going to be after we fight Nasty Nork. I will be honest, the first time I fought Nasty Nork, it was a little bit hard. Still is, especially if you're trying to get the perfect skill points. Now, forget which way these tunnels moved. But yeah, in this first part, if you just keep moving, you shouldn't have any problems getting hit. Sorry if I get a little quiet sometimes. I was just concentrating on getting through this without getting hit. Especially since I just forgot, just now realized I have to, I have to refill sparks before I came here. Yeah, good method for me for 100%ing this level is to, like, in this first area you can get rid of Nasty Nork and he'll move on to the next stage of the fight, but you can just hit him back and collect gems. he'll run away and you don't have to worry about him firing at you. You can just go around, collect gems. I do know, um, I don't know exactly what the, what the tallies are for each stage, but 
I do know you want to be at an even hundred number for before you enter the last stage. Let's see, just trying to see. Don't think I got everything there this time. Maybe I did. Um, let's see, Spark says the next gems are that way. So I guess we can move on to the next phase. Yeah, but this phase, I can never get him on the first go around. And so, the first time I can just leisurely stroll through and collect everything. I do know the last gem is with him, and I believe it's 25. So we can just stroll through here, collect all these gems, and then... And once I know I've cleared everything out, I can chase him down for real. Which is not easy. Especially with all the steps. Yeah, first run is just a dry run. Go around, collect everything. Yeah, see, that's where you want to be. Because you'll get 25 for catching him in this section. And last hundred will be when you get him the last for the last time. Just wanna follow him around the track. I do know on PlayStation there is a trophy for if you manage to get him five times. If you manage to get him to run the track five times. But given this is Switch and not PlayStation, I don't have to do that. Uh, no, no, no! Ah! Great. I only gotta do everything all over again. Well, at least I don't have to worry about any of the gems. Yeah, that's one thing that stinks about this boss, is you pretty much have to do the whole thing over again if you die. Yeah, I remember the last, the first time I went through this. Yes, I kept falling in the goop on this stretch of road. Alright. Alright, that might have messed us up.
Uh, no! <sighs> At least with us having cleared out the gems earlier, I don't have to worry about them. Gotcha! Alright, see if we can get this again. Point for that. Hi, sheep. <laughs> Sorry, I took so long. Almost forgot about you guys. What about Ganasty Ganor? Nasty Nork is toast. <laughs> so now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom. Well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to find. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. <laughs> Is there a way to skip the credits? Okay, there we go. Not that I don't mind credits, but I don't want to waste your time with them. are back. We have just defeated Nasty Nork. We're gonna free our last dragon for the game. Magnus. Nasty's ancient history now. So what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. But the gate will only open if you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. Yep, I already did so. Off to Nasty Sloot. Yeah, this is our 
I guess that this is a flight level, but there's no time limit. Which is very nice. Oh, well. Did motion blur come back on? like it's on, but, hmm, here. So yeah, pretty much the entirety of this level is 10s and 25s, and you get to get keys to you'll be able to fly higher. This guy, come here. Give me that key. Yeah, you can pretty much just fly around and collect gems and not have to worry about time limits. And the more doors you unlock, the higher you can fly. Go to the, let's go back to the door. We can open up the next gate, and we'll be able to fly a little bit higher. Where's the next one? There it is. And that's where our last one is. See how quickly we can get this guy. It's pretty much once we, we get this the 
will have free reign over this, this level. up this door. Now we're as high as we can get. We'll be able to explore the entirety of this level without limit. And without any annoying thieves. Good. Let's see, where are we? Where do we stand? We're at 9.50. I believe that this room has all the remaining gems we need. I mean, look at all these love letters. Like, did Nasty write these to himself? Are these love letters from other north? Like, where did all these come from? Alright, 2000 out of 2000. Level complete. And now we can head back home and get the 120% ending. Dragon, you've defeated Ganasty Ganor, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the dragon kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob, and I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest dragon of my time playing with and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say for every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh oh, here we here go again. again. <laughs> All right, that is it. We have completed everything in the first game. We, we have gotten all the dragons. We have gotten all the eggs. We have gotten all the treasure. We have completed the first Spyro game in the Reignited Trilogy. So that'll be it for this video. Next time we will be exploring Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Ring that bell for notifications. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!